Now, we all know that the internet and social media, specifically for our youth, can have certain effects physically and mentally. So there is a local organization that's putting on an event to kind of kind of manage and talk about that a little bit more. The Be Happy and Healthy panel for parents and teens will be taking place West Bloomfield High School in the upcoming week. And joining us right here live on the Splash, talk a little bit more about that event. We have program coordinator for Maple Grove Community Education, Lisa Kaplan. Thank you for being here, Lisa. Hi, Kevin. Thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A very, very interesting event. I can't wait to break this down with you, but I just want you to first and foremost start off with describing, giving out the details for this event, please. Okay, so it will be at 7 o'clock on September 18th at the West Bloomfield High School Eye Center, which is their media center, their library. It is open to the public, mm -hmm. but we're hoping to attract parents and teens who are interested in improving their lives. So the name of this program is Be Happy, mm -hmm. Be Healthy, and we have three speakers, including myself, who will be covering a variety of topics to help teens and their parents navigate mental health issues. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Okay, so I love that. Now with that being said, uh, social media, can we talk about the impact that social media has on our mental health and us, for us as parents and students? Yes. So one of our speakers is a psychotherapist, Brian Granger, who works with teens and a lot of his work involves dealing with social media. So teens have the mm -hmm. impression because of social media that everybody's life is perfect and wonderful and they're invited to oh. party, and they're doing activities and it makes mm -hmm. people feel like <laughs> my life doesn't measure up. I don't I'm not invited to these things. I don't have this quality of lifestyle. So what that does is it it adds to depression and anxiety in teens. So Brian will be talking about how parents and teens can navigate that whole social media problem and also normalizing it, making it clear that um, people post only positive things. You don't hear about the negative things that go on in people's lives. So that's what Brian will right. be talking about. Correct, correct. And I, and I love that. With us right here live on the Splash, talking about this upcoming event, the Be Happy and Healthy panel that'll be at West Bloomfield High School, September 18, 7 p.m. We have program coordinator for Maple Grove Community Education, Lisa Kaplan. Now, I, from your perspective, we're dealing with a lot of different things that either distracts us or that can kind of like eat away at our mental health in general. So what are some common ways, you don't have to give away the entire secret sauce now, what are some common ways that you kind of help people or that you would give people to kind of cope with those things? Yeah, that's a great question. So most of us know that COVID did a number on our mental health. The amount of people seeking mm -hmm, help mm -hmm. from depression and anxiety and other mental health disorders has skyrocketed since the pandemic. And many people don't have coping skills. Parents will tell us that they don't have coping skills. So how can they teach their kids coping skills? So what we'll be talking mm. about is healthy ways to cope. And unhealthy ways include using alcohol and other drugs, and that includes marijuana. So we'll be talking about how that actually hurts, not helps people's mental health. Mm -hmm. And we'll be talking about all sorts of different coping skills from exercise to hobbies, to seeking positive support people in your life. It'll be a pretty comprehensive discussion. Nice, nice. So are there any uh, other local organizations, uh, 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 mental health uh, clubs or, or type of resources that you all collaborate with? And can you just talk about how important it is for you all to collaborate with community resources like that? Sure. So this program is run by the Greater West Bloomfield Community Coalition, the Henry Ford West Bloomfield Hospital, and Henry Ford Maple Grove Center. Um, so we put okay. together this program, but we, any of us can connect anybody with resources throughout our community for absolutely anything, for mental health issues, inpatient or outpatient, with any type of support group, 
any type of um, school assistance. One of our panelists is a mental health professional from the West Bloomfield High School. Carla Jones is their mental health specialist. And all of us work together to help people in our community, whoever needs it. So all it takes is making a phone call. On our flyer is the email address for Lisa Berkey, who's the executive director of the Greater West Bloomfield Community Coalition. And if people start there and contact her, she will reach out to those of us who can help to get resources in place for people. Got you, got you. Understand it. Something just came to my mind, Lisa, I want to ask you about. Um, so when we're talking about health in general, right uh let's say physical health in order to kind of maintain it you kind of you have to do exercises to kind of keep it up to par so that de it doesn't deteriorate that type of thing i'm not yeah. the expert but i would imagine it was it would be something similar with mental health right now we're talking about coping and dealing with different uh issues and, and things of that nature just coping with them but what about actually building your mental health are, are there any exercises or anything that we could do to build and make our mental health stronger yeah great question kevin so we all know that we should eat right and exercise and drink water and get enough sleep and all those things to keep our bodies healthy but many of these things mm -hmm. also help with mental health so eating right you know healthy food not just junk food exercise regularly they say 30 minutes yeah. every day is good for our mental health um, sleep is incredibly important our teens do not get enough mm -hmm. sleep kids that age should be getting around eight or nine hours and most of them do not so sleep can impact a person's mental health but not just that unplugging from social media connecting with nature taking time to just relax um, in our schools they now teach yoga and meditation to help kids to develop these healthy mental health coping skills that they can use even when they're not in school so yes the answer to your there question we, we should be building up those skills just like we build up our physical health yeah 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 see i always say this like i always have that idea but it, it means nothing for me it means a lot more coming from experts like yourself lisa we appreciate that lastly just let's go ahead and give a recap again the details of the event and anyone listening or watching right now who's interested in learning more about it please give out those that information Yes, so anybody is welcome to attend, no reservation needed. Come to West Bloomfield High School on September 18th. We begin at seven o'clock. It'll be in the I Center. It'll be a panel discussion of three panelists and plenty of time to ask questions and hear answers. And afterward, the panelists are willing to stay and meet privately with anybody who wants to have a private discussion. So we hope to see you there absolutely giving you an opportunity to talk to the professionals when it comes to mental health how to cope with them and how to build strength in your mental health once again thank you again for being here all your information and your time program coordinator for maple grove community education lisa kaplan thank you again thank you for having me